welcome back to Cards and Comics. Today I'm going to be doing another Ken Griffey Jr. Mail Day and also just cards I've collected at Ken Griffey Jr. through other means such as box breaks. So here we go. Let's get started right away. So this is from, I think, 96 Pinnacle uh, Starburst. And um, it is the natural. So it's kind of like, um, I want to say a subset inside. So at first I thought this was like its own little set, but actually this is a subset. And the Starburst have their own subset. So it gets a little confusing. But nice looking card. I got it on Whatnot for like $2. So I couldn't pass it up. So I grabbed this. I don't actually have that card. Uh, next up is a base card from a box of Flare Showcase I broke. It's the only Griffey base card I pulled in the whole box. But there you go. And it is a row three. Seat three. So there you go. Next up is a card I pulled from a Topps Gold Label box break. So the next three cards are from that box break. So if you want to go watch that, you can. Because um, these, I might send these in to get graded. I'm not I'm still debating a little bit. But here's the base. And then here is two Hank Aaron uh, Chase. Uh, I think race to 22.97. I don't know. It's a Hank Aaron uh, tribute insert set, I think. Anyway, here's two cards. They're very similar, but one of them, you can tell, it's a little darker in the gold label, and that's the gold black, and this is the base or the gold. Uh, so I got the base and the insert, and this is like pretty rare insert. I believe it was like one in 70-something packs. So, I mean, rare-er. So there you go. A very nice card. So again, I might send these in to get graded, because the pop counts on these are pretty low. Next up is a modern card, and this is something you don't see very often in my Griffey collection. However, this is from a set I really like. It's the Japanese top set from last year. They have these, um, um, let's say, cherry blossom tree and cherry blossom inserts. The cherry blossoms are like to 99. They're more pink. These are the, the tree, which aren't numbered. But I want, I've been buying, you know, just different players. I mean, I'd love to get the Otani version of both those cards, uh, Mike Trout, just the players I like. Um, you know, and in fact, I think putting a whole set of this together would be really fun. Not too expensive, but it'd be really fun. Just like how they look. And again, this might be going to a, a PSA just to have it in the collection, but it is modern. So that's something that you don't see me do very often. Now, these three cards are from my last box break. So if you want to see something cool, go to my last box break, my 98 Bowman's Best. So I pulled two base Griffies plus the base Griffey refractor, which is insane. There you go. And that thing is numbered to 400. I just like showing it off. And there it is. That's the, and that's going to go PSA. So here is a limited exposure um, from um, Donner's Collections. You can see right there, 1998, I believe. Oh, I'm sorry, 97. And these are their answered refractors. And you can see these are amazing cards. They're stamped. It's like an embossing there. And it's just, these things look amazing. And I'm going to send this off to PSA as well to get graded. Two cards I got in from the same uh, seller. And again, I know why he sold them. Because they're not going to grade like 10. And in the Griffey world, that's, I guess, terrible. But here is um, from SBX. Uh, radiance uh, parallel and it's numbered 40 out of 100 so it's a pretty rare short prints again from 1999 SPX and the biggest issue with this card is the corners and the edges have some wear so I might send this in even if it comes back a 6 or 7 still numbered to 100 and I think it's still going to be worth having it encapsulated um, just because you know these Griffey cards number out of 100 or lower are becoming harder and harder to find. And I think someone will want it just graded so they can put it in their uh, PSA registry. Even at a lower grade, it's still good to have it than not to have it. So that's the Radiance. The next card is actually in much better shape. It's the Milestone Century. And again, this is an insert, kind of like a essential credential type insert. And this card was numbered out of 350. See right there. Um... 
And this card has a little chipping, you see it up there. So that's what the guy you know didn't grade it because he's like, well, it's gonna get an eight at best. But to me, eights are fine, and this card is still a pretty rare card of Griffey. Uh, I just threw it around, so glad it's in a holder. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, it's 1999 EX um, Century and a Milestone Century insert. So there you go. And these are really cool. Uh, almost like a pearlized finish there. Uh, next up is uh, from Flare Showcase. I believe it's 97 Flare Showcase. I never get the years right. Yep, 97 Flare Showcase. It is the Diamond Cuts. Hard to believe I don't own this card already. Um, it just never, I never ever um, had this card. It's just, I never um, sat down and made it a point to buy it. It was a lot cheaper. And honestly, I probably should have because it's kind of not blown up like, let's see, some other cards like the mirror image cards for Randy Bowen's Best. Uh, the refractors, but this card is still really cool. You can see how it shines in the light. It's a really cool looking die cut. And it's a really nice shape card. So I'm going to get sent in to get graded. Um, um, next up is a really, really nice card. I've never owned this card before. It's a red, but it's the King Griffey Jr. Uh, 2000 SP Signature Legendary Auto of King Griffey Jr. And again, these are uh, short prints. So uh, it wasn't easy to get this card. And the only reason I own it is because it's, he's a red. This still showed him as a Mariner, which a lot of 2000 cards still do. Um, this card would be worth a lot more uh, because it's a nice looking insert or sorry set and pretty rare, pretty short printed. Um, so there you go. And this is going off to PSA. Um, just again, capsulate. Now a uh, card I did get um, you know, I don't have this card either, which is weird. Um, this came from a seller that um, I bought four or five cards off of. So I just threw it in there, bid on it, threw it in there so that I have at least have one copy of this card. Um, and I like the card a lot. So, but so the Planet, Planet Metal from 99 Metal Universe, PSA 8, um, just a um, cool card. Next up is from New Pinnacle, which is one of my favorite sets. I love the artist proofs. And I have my green artist proof coming back from PSA at some point. There's a big snafu there, and I'll go through that when that order comes in. But it got graded, and it came back. Um, I'll, I'll share with you what it came back, but it's a great card. And now this is from the same set. This is where they spell um, his name. Kind of one of the first sets to kind of do that. So this is the I. So you need uh, six cards of Griffey to complete this. This is the eight. They're not numbered, but I think they were like almost like one or two a box. So they weren't easy to get. And there's multiple players in the set too. So you can't, it's not just Griffey. Uh, next up is a 98 Sport Flix Artist Proof. I don't know what the rarity of these are. I'll, um, as I'm talking here, I'll look it up and, and flash it in the video. I don't know if they're super rare or not, but it wasn't that expensive. It's a nine. I search for Artist Proofs all the time. And this came up and I wound up grabbing it. Now, here's a cool card. I've never owned before. It's a 2000 Finest Griffey uh, A-Rod dual-sided features refractor card number 121. Now, this is not an insert. And, and a lot of people would look at this card and think it's an insert. But I, it is just a base card. So, from that perspective, it's a subset. But it's not an insert. But you can see the dual-sided nature of this card it's dual sided and um you know it's a mint nine so it's cool to pull this to get this because it's really just a base uh, refractor even though it's a subset it's part of the regular set so it's a you know, card i probably need to complete my griffey refractor run uh 96 flare zone i believe these are pretty rare usually the the zone cards are like one in a few box type inserts it's an eight but it's really easy to damage this card. And actually, if you look at it, it's technically a pretty good card. A few touches, but... Next up is a 1996 Leaf Press Proof Gold. 
And I think these have some kind of stated print runs, like 500 cards or something. Um, you know, sometimes they would say on the back, you know, like one of so many cards, but this one doesn't. Um, it's an eight. And again, a few ticks on the corners, but man, um, just tough grading. You know, that's why I think some of those cards I showed before are going to be like sevens and sixes because, you know, these cards look pretty nice. I see a little chipping there. Um, but that brings it all the way down to an eight. So now next up is the first card I bought off. Check out my cards. I created an account because I'm going to use them to grade some cards. Um, on my EPAC, mostly Marvel. But I was looking around and I saw this card and I never owned it. It's the 97 Pinnacle Certified, um, gold team, Griffey Jr. And these cards, and I pulled out the sleeve. Um, they're pretty incredible. Like they have a depth to the gold, like little uh, lines, so almost like embossed. You can just see how cool that card looks. And now there's a version of this card that's like the platinum gold. I think it's like it's like a refractory uh, on top of it. That card is insane. I love to get it, but I don't have it. But I've got the gold. They are, um, and this card says one ten on the back. So I don't know, like, if it was, oh, okay. Well, I, I see they were numbered, they were out of a certain amount. So this is like numbered 110. Let's see what it says. Uh, okay, well, it just says 110. So I got to look that up for a sec. Uh, <laughs> make sure I know what that means. Uh, so first of all, I've actually really liked this card. I just got it in. So I'll look up, um, do a little research on it, but it's cool. Brilliant card. Love that card. Uh, next up is a card that, again, I bought over the holiday weekend um, when I was down, well, yeah, Easter, when I was with the family. And this is the um, 96 Pinnacle Skylines Griffey. And these are really tough to pull. They were only in Jumbos and uh, Super Packs um, from 96 Pinnacle, um, which you don't see very often. And, um, yeah. All the cards in the set, people love. Uh, they're a, let's say, a player collector. Um, you know, like, kind of like, they're not, you know, the big, big time inserts, but they're de definitely in that second tier of coolness where everyone who has these cards really enjoys them. I think they're just a really pretty cool, can car pretty cool looking cards. And uh, they sell really well on the secondary market. Now, this is a card I already own in a, in a, in a raw card, which I may get graded, but. I, this car came and it went for what I thought was pretty cheap, and it's a nine. The Molten Metal Fusion, which look like Platinum Portraits. Pretty much the same exact technology. You can see the Griffey face right there with his hat backwards. And so it was cool for me to get the nine or get the graded version, so I just have a higher grade copy. The copy I have, uh, which is raw, is probably not going to grade higher than a seven. So... It was nice just to get one at a reasonable price that was, um, you know, um, to me, just a little bit better condition. And it wasn't uh, a bank breaker. Now, this card is starting the run of the higher end, super high end card. So here is the Mirror Gold from 97 Pinnacle Certified. And these cards are beautiful, but I will caveat this in two ways. One is the photo they use is really weird. I wish they hadn't done that, but they did. They used some photo of him running. And they're not numbered, unlike some previous year. So that has made these cards. Now, this is an Amit 9. Um, you know, make it where they're definitely not as... They're not like the 96 set at all in terms of value. But they're still rare. It's not like you see these very often. So no one really has, I think, a real true number because... They had multiple printings of this product. Chance of, you know, the, the numbers aren't over like 500 or something like that. I, I think there's some stated print runs, but um, it, it's one of those things where by not being numbered and having multiple printings, it throws into question how rare this card truly is. So, but it's beautiful and I'm glad I grabbed it. And it's again, a card that people love. It's just not like the 96 set. They, they kind of didn't stick to the design criteria and, and kind of made it a, uh, well, I guess just a lot less rare. Um, 
So here's a card that is numbered and is rare. It's the 98 Top Stars Luminaries Gold. And uh, this is... Now, I wish it was a little more refractory. So I think that's why this set's always been a little looked down on. It's really just a foil board set. Uh, so you can see it shines there a little bit. And it looks... I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, I like the CPO tone they, they used for it. But... It is rare. So you can see on the back it is 48 of 50. This is the gold. There's a silver and a bronze set as well. I like this set a lot. In fact, one, uh, there's another, there's a galaxy insert set. So this is Luminaries. There's a galaxy insert. It's basically numbered the same way. It's just a different insert set. One of a raw one just sold for over $3,000. So, um, and numbered to 50 as well. So this set is getting more popular. And I think these are just, and again, the reason why this didn't bring much is it's an eight, but there's only 50 of them. So to me, I just got to have the card. Uh, next up is one of the last uh, base refractors I need. Um, as I'm cl getting closer to having the full refractor run, uh, base refractors, not all the inserts, just base refractors, not gold embossed refractors, things like that. Just the, the you know, base, you know, the first level of refractor and, um, this 94 finest was eluding me pretty heavily for a long time. I finally pulled a trigger on one. I think it's funny is that it's an 85 and so is my 93. So there's the pair together, 93 and 94, um, both in a S or sorry, BGS 8.5. So there you go. That's definitely one of those ones that I'm finally glad to knock off the list. Um, I keep looking at them over and over and over. They're not, they're, they're rare, but not super rare. So you get chances, but um, I just think the 8.5 grade makes it easier to, you know, to acquire because people either want 9s or 10s, and I was able to snag it. I thought it was a good price. Now, next up is the first one of these cards I've ever owned. They're beautiful, and it is the Legacy from Flare Showcase, and these are really beautiful cards. The blue foiling and lettering really stand out, and... Um, they are numbered on the back. This is 22 of 100. So it's just super pretty. And I'm really excited about um, these, you know, um, kind of as I build out my Griffey collection, I'm getting into, you know, like getting my refractor collection uh, completed. I'm getting into more of these, uh, I call it like a little bit more higher end inserts from that are, aren't refractors. And so, uh, you can see three of these four cards aren't refractors. They're just, you know, really cool insert sets. And then you got something like this, which is, you know, one of the hottest uh, insert sets that's uh, in all sports right now. Um, all these legacies are really doing well right now in secondary market. So um, that's my update, uh, my, my Griffey collection update, new additions from mail days or box breaks. So let me know what you think your favorite card is in the video. And uh, I'll see you next time on Cards and Comics. Bye.